Hi, I'm Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. I completely support anyone that comes here as a refugee, and I think it's time now. We are well past due. We need to treat these people with dignity and with care. They're valuable to our communities. Um, I like the ideas that Maria's put forth. Uh, I say that uh, I, I appreciate what Senator Graham said, that we're just having a knee-jerk reaction. And as far as sending citizens back, I don't think anybody really agrees that we want to throw anyone back just because they're uh, you know, they're here illegally. I would you still support him, or do you think that President Trump should back out? I want to see what President Trump is actually going to roll out this time. This is different than 2016 or 2020. We're in a, it's, an, if it's, it's a different landscape. Tenney also wants to see the positions of other potential GOP presidential candidates before committing her support. Later. Uh, Claudia Tenney, who is one of the Iron Ladies who have named themselves thus in uh, the spirit of Margaret Thatcher. And... Uh, and Nikki Haley's PAC is supporting. Well, first, it's an honor to be on with Ambassador Haley, who is personifies the Iron Lady. Ambassador Haley personifies, as I said, courage. Uh, she has a unique background. She stood up strong when she was our ambassador. And we need leaders for today, and that's why the Iron Ladies are out there. Uh, in, uh, in And we're just so honored to have the endorsement of our great ambassador, Nikki Haley. All right, guys. So lately, I've been ranting a whole lot about how it is important for conservative voters to hold the Republican Party accountable for doing the things that they promised they would do for voters. Like, for example, closing the border or not sending taxpayer dollars overseas, protecting free speech and our fundamental rights, or protecting conservative students who get harassed by left-wingers on college campuses, protecting Christians and our right to express basic beliefs about our faith. Um, these are things that the Republican Party, in my opinion, have failed to do. Uh, and at some point, voters have to hold them accountable or else there's not going to be any change. And holding Republicans accountable starts with identifying Republicans who are not acting in the interests of their conservative voters, the people that sent them to Congress. OK, they get into Congress and they actually seem to vote in the opposite direction that their voters want them to vote, okay? Like, for example, Claudia Tenney, who is a Republican from New York with a Liberty score of an F, 56%. I mean, this woman might as well be a liberal, but yet she is still in Congress despite the fact that, again, her voting record is absolutely terrible and she has supported some really disastrous policies for conservative voters. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. I completely support anyone that comes here as a refugee. And as far as sending citizens back, I don't think anybody really agrees that we want to throw anyone back just because they're, uh, you know, they're here illegally. I try to talk about the positives. I have been the most bipartisan member in the freshman class. Every single piece of legislation I put out is co-sponsored with a Democrat. I'm proud to co-sponsor this bill with my colleagues from both sides of the aisle. And sure. every single one of those pieces of legislation have been joined with a Democratic member. And so we think it's really important to work with all of our, our Democratic side. And whichever way the House goes, I have great friends on both sides. Uh, they're attacking Republicans on abortion. I come from a state like New York State where it's late term abortion and, and I support uh, the state's rights issues. Who has consistently backed McCarthy's speakership bid this week, New York Republican Congresswoman-elect Claudia Tenney. Uh, I think Kevin McCarthy has earned this position. To be honest with you, I think Kevin has gone far enough. I think these rules, he's made concession after concession. I think it's time to play hardball now and say, look, you need to join the team. Again, it's the petty grievances. I think those 19 are going to eventually turn over to supporting Kevin McCarthy. I think there's sometimes a false choice that if we don't take care of our southern border, uh, then we shouldn't be taking care of Ukraine. But I think as a country, we can and we must do both. But we as a country cannot do what we did during World War II. We got in too late. Ignoring this Ukraine issue is not going to make it go away. And you know what I'm really happy about today, Maria? We reauthorized FISA with 56 new reforms. Yeah, so I want you guys to understand. This woman supports amnesty for illegals, open borders, warrantless spying on Americans, sending money overseas to foreign countries like Ukraine to fight their wars. This is why she was endorsed by the warmonger queen herself, Nikki Haley. 
Uh, and she probably would have endorsed Nikki Haley had she stayed in the race. Okay, this is why she refused to come out and endorse Trump. She also doesn't really believe in free speech because she co-sponsored the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act that would essentially classify uh, basic Christian declarations of faith or stating things that are facts in the Bible as potential forms of anti-Semitism. Okay, so um, I'm not sure exactly what about this woman is conservative. I mean, her district is an R plus 13 district. So it's not like this is a swing district. However, she seems to basically be a Democrat, a liberal. And if you decide to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to challenge you like my friend Mario Frado is doing as an America first candidate, then she will basically say that, hey, you are far right. OK, you're far right. OK, if you do not agree with her liberal stances, I think Mario doesn't really understand what America first means. I think he thinks it's isolationism and he's been kind of clinging to these real far right uh, what I call uh, clickbait people on Twitter. Frado rails against Tenney's voting record in Congress, which he calls liberal on issues like deportation and aid to Ukraine. And also what she will do as well, too, uh, besides call you far right, okay, if you believe in America first, she will also run a dirty campaign against you, okay, and to basically try to blackmail you into not running against her again just because you had the cohortes to challenge her as an America first candidate, which again is what happened to my friend Mario, uh, who again was threatened by Claudia Tenney after he initially lost his race to her, a very close race uh, last election cycle. And he decided to challenge her again, again, despite the threats from her that she would release dirty information about him if he challenges her Again, which is what this story is about, and this is what we got to talk about here today because this is how liberal Republicans, establishment Republicans, run their campaign against America First Republicans. This is what they have to do to win when they can't win on policy. So without further ado, let's actually read about this because this is a good example of the type of threats that come from establishment Republicans when you try to challenge their power, okay? This is how they will come after you, but in this case... Mario actually happened to catch her in the act of threatening him as he was congratulating her for winning her race last year. And he was essentially uh, being recorded while he was talking to her and during that conversation. That's when she issued the threat. And now uh, this has leaked out to the media. And it really does, again, show you how dirty some of these establishment Republicans are. So let's read here. Congresswoman Claudia Tenney is in the primary fight for her life to keep her tenacious hold on the U.S. House District 24 seat in New York. And newly released audio shows just how low she is willing to sink to fend off her rising MAGA competitor, Mario Frado. After Tenney won the Republican primary for the same seat in the previous election cycle, her opponent, Frado, graciously called Tenney to concede. Tenney responded by attempting to strong arm him, claiming she possessed jeopardizing audio recordings of Frado and would not hesitate to use these illicitly recorded conversations in future races. Tenney stated that she was secretly recording Frado during private in-person conversations, including when the, the two first met at a Yates County fundraiser where they were running in different districts at the time and not yet political rivals. This begs the question, why is Tenney recording other Republicans and attempting to use that information as compromise to further her establishment political ambitions? Yeah, I mean, that is a good question. I mean, again, apparently... She's just recording random conversations that she has with people in public. So if you're talking to this woman, she may be recording you trying to get dirty information about you through some casual conversation just for her to use later in her campaign if you decide to campaign against her. Again, it seems to be pretty slimy stuff here. Tenny also claimed in the audio that she vowed not to run a clean, honest campaign if she were to go up against Frado in a future race the entire video can be seen here all right so this is good, mario good. calling oh, yeah. to uh concede okay to say hey you know i lost good race okay uh but yet this woman did not seem to handle it very well so let's let's watch this hey good claudia how you doing 
I'm doing okay. Yeah, I guess so. Well, congratulations. It was uh, it was fun for my first foray, and uh, you had a good showing. Oswego was really good to you too. So. I just want to. I just really disappointed in in some of the campaign. I, and just so you know, I've, I've listened to all your events, and there hasn't been a moment where I've been with you, whether we're in Cayuga or anywhere where I haven't recorded everything. So. I just appreciate if you tell the truth so I don't have to drip out all my recordings of you. I'm sure you're wrong. Wow. <laughs> wow. Again, this is crazy, right? I mean, this is like psychopath behavior. She's like, there hasn't been a moment where I've been with you where I haven't been recording you. Okay. So look at Mario's face, bruh. This dude is shocked. I would be shocked too if some lady told me, yo, I've been recording everything, every conversation we've had together in person. Yo, I just been recording it, <laughs> right? Again, this is this is insane. Run again, and I just want to make sure that if you know we have a, a decent campaign. So I, honestly, I recorded you when we were sitting in Cayuga. I re recorded you. There isn't a moment you've been with me, even in Yates County, when I had my photo on. I had my recorder on the whole time. We we ran a clean, honest campaign. You know, I'm not going to run a nice campaign next time. I always write a positive campaign, but we're going to definitely bring out you know roll the tape. So okay. Um, Anyway, I just, I, I appreciate calling me. There isn't a, there isn't a, I'm recording you right now, Mario. I can just tell you, I don't want to argue with you. I, I appreciate the call. I just, I just went, you know, I'm a square, square and fair shooter. I don't, I just, I just like to have a solid honest campaign, but I appreciate the call. So anyway. Okay. Well, take care. Have a wow. 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 So again, this lady, again, sounds like a psychopath to me. Okay. She's like, yo, everywhere uh, we have spoken. I'm recording. I'm recording our conversations. And if you run against me again, then I'm going to expose you. Okay. I'm going to make these conversations public. Now, she didn't tell him that, hey, I'm recording. She just did it, which may or may not be illegal. Okay. I actually believe that that might be illegal, depending on what state you're in. But uh, she claims that she ran a clean, honest campaign in 2022. However, she has been accused of making up fake polls. Uh, her campaign published a poll. Uh, three weeks prior to the 2022 primary election that indicated that Mario only had 6% support from voters, but yet he received over 40% of the vote on election night, right? So this was essentially a fake poll, right? Um, she's also uh, trashed Mario's background, him coming from a working class family. Um, his family owns a construction company, and uh, apparently she thinks that is uh, beneath her, okay? That is beneath somebody that should be in Congress. And again, you know, the thing is, is that these are the type of people that have to be uh, voted out, right? I mean, if, if we're going to make any progress, uh, it has to start with primarying these Republicans that are not America first. And Frado has actually received an endorsement from Paul Grossar, who, who is a part of the Freedom Caucus. So he has been recognized as somebody that... Uh, is correct on the policy positions in regards to where we need to take this country. However, again, it just really comes down to voters being aware that, hey, these Republicans are not acting in your best interest. I mean, this woman is a Democrat, okay? I mean, there's no difference between her and a Democrat, but yet she's representing a district that is solidly Republican. And if you run against her as America first, she's going to say that you are far right. But again, it is Republicans like her. This is the reason why the border never gets closed. This is the reason why our money keeps going overseas. This is the reason why our debt crisis is never solved. And the reason why Democrats have been allowed to push this country off of a cliff. Okay. Now, this race just represents one of many races in which you have MAGA candidates that are running uh, in the primaries against these establishment Republicans, these uniparty uh, Republicans that... Again, they're not working on behalf of uh, their conservative voters. They're working on behalf of foreign countries. Okay, they're working on behalf of the Democrat Party. So, you know, these people have to be voted out and we have to get America first representatives in Congress if we're going to make progress. Everybody wants to know, well, how do we solve the problem? How do we fix the problem? Well, again, it starts with getting the right people in place in order to move the country in the right direction. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.